the XLT 3016 guys we're out here at Campers Inn Woodstock Georgia uh, let's take a look don't go anywhere I'm on the edge Hey guys, I'm Thomas. And I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Home on the Hitch. We travel around in our RV, trying to find ways to make every moment count. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. Right. So if this sounds like you, or you're interested in RV travel, then hang out with us for a little while and we'll answer some questions for you. Today, we're gonna to take a look uh, at a toy hauler travel trailer by Forest River. So stick around. Right, guys, we're out here today looking at this XLR uh, by Forest River. Uh, it's a Hyperlite toy hauler travel trailer. Uh, so these are pretty interesting. Let's take a look up front. Uh, power tongue jack. We've got two 20 pound propane bottles and where the battery's going to go right there. You can see the profile of the front here. It's got a nice tinted windshield type uh, window uh, there in the front. That's, I like the tent on that frameless windows here uh, if we look at this side it's got a really nice generator prep uh, all lined with metal power cables already there fuel lines already there so very nice all right checking out the numbers looks like we've got a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,610 pounds uh, cargo carrying capacity is 2,717 pounds. Rides on uh, 5,000 pound axles and E rated tires, 16 inch E rated tires. Uh, frameless windows over there. Back here, water heater, cable inlet, satellite inlet, uh, 50 amp connection there. You got your low point drain down there, fresh water connection, city water, and it does have a black tank flush, so that's nice. We got the outdoor shower crammed in that small opening. It's going to have manual stabilizer jacks. This slide here, it's a pretty narrow slide and it is a cable slide system. Again, uh, sliding frameless windows. Just look at it from this side. Got a light up here to shine over this area because this is where your fuel tank is at uh, for all your toys and for your generator. Access there to put fuel in. That's where you have the nozzle, open that up for the nozzle out and the pump on and off. Looking at the back, this is a toy hauler. So it's got the door that extends down, all LED lighting and wired for on backup camera. This is a certified weatherproof door, so you can leave it down and the rain's not gonna hurt it. If you look on this side, uh, power Solera awning all the way across. Got two doors, got a front door and a rear door that goes into the toy hauler section. Again, frameless windows. Aluminum steps, both sides, uh, front and rear. This door back here, if you look, doesn't have any type of window in it. The front door over there does. It's gonna come with TST tire monitoring system already. This is gonna be a TV mount. And plug and cable for TV. Dometic fridge vent and back of the furnace. Again, yeah, looking at this, that is a Forest River XLT 3016. Looking at this front storage compartment, if we can. Your cord, uh, see it's got all the tables uh, that are set to go into the toy hauler rear section there and all the support poles. Uh, battery disconnect as well as the slide out room control module uh, looking going back and looking at the tires it does come from the factory with nitrogen filled tires 
Like I said, these are 16 inch E rated uh, with the Ridgeway Sport STs. So uh, you're going to want to research those and see if that's something you need to change. It does come with the Pre 3000 already installed, so you don't have to worry about that. It's actually it's a really nice size travel trailer uh, to be a toy hauler. So let's go inside and see what's going on in there. All right, let's head in this back door. Like I said, this is a solid door here, and this door goes into the toy hauler area. This is um this is a really nice unit. It, even though it's a toy hauler, it has um, a very nice decor and a homey feel to it. It has the reclining couches that make that make one large sofa bed. Uh, there has the place for the table. Right. Here. Saw those in the storage, and those, you know, like every other toy hauler, those raise up out of the way. Right. Um, and then you have the bed that comes down, and that looks like a queen size bed. It does have the the room darkening shades, and these are privacy blinds, so you're going to be able to uh, have some privacy at night. So, um, is this how you turn on the lights? Well, it on Interesting. Okay, so I like how I like how all the outlets and the light switches and things are are raised. You know. I guess it's part of the toy hauler thing. Um, this does have two recliners, and you can move these around. Um, they have a little, they have some short end tables also. Yeah. That were in there. One can go right there. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, it has a sound bar for your, right. for your audio with TV. Bluetooth. Um, a fireplace, fireplace, a really nice fireplace. Lots and lots of storage in this unit. Um, What's up here? And, you know, it only has the the one slide, and that slide's not really super deep, so you pretty much have access to everything you need. Um, right, that's going to be the whole kitchen yeah. here, so it'll come forward. And I guess that's the reason for something else we'll show you here in a minute, but... Because that's going to come forward and block off the bedroom door. Absolutely, yep, yep. So it has a Dometic um, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. um, here's your control panel has one AC unit. Yep. I do like um, the look of this stove, though. You know, it's very, very cl classic. With the, the window, you can see through the window, and sometimes into that's the oven. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like the faux brick wallpaper on the back. Absolutely. Has this really nice big drawer. Lots of uh, lots of storage in here. Some more drawers. Lots of pantry area. Awesome. So then you go through this barn style door mm -hmm. into this big bathroom. Let's see what we got here in the big bathroom with the toilet paper holder mounted. Right. Nice. Um, also has the vacuum system over. Oh, so I guess if you have a poop that gets stuck or something. Right, you, you just vacuum just that right back out. Back it on up to the vent. Mm -hmm. and never seen a vacuum right by the toilet. No. I but... think that's how they do it on the space station. <laughs> <laughs> When you have mom's brisket. That's right. So I do like the shower. That That's like the shower that we had in Paris. You know, it's, it right. closes up. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's cute. It already has a Max Air fan in the bathroom. Awesome. And it has a towel bar. I like that we're seeing more and more to toilet paper holders yeah. and towel installed. bars installed. So All right, so. This door, where does this go? The interesting thing about this unit is that you can enter the bedroom through the bathroom or it has another door going through the kitchen area. So um, it makes it easier to access both sides of the bed yep. because there's not a lot of room in between the foot of the bed cool. and the wall. Nice. Um, you have a shelf over top that you could store some, some things in a basket. You have the wardrobes on either side. This one is a little tricky to get to on this side. You would have to be on the bed. Um, because you have oh, yeah. um, the cutout for the generator. Yeah, yeah, Is that yeah. what's on the side? That's kind of weird. It goes out. It does. You can see that. It goes out all the way there. Right. So I certainly can't right. reach. This one's not I'd like have that. to sit on the bed. Now, it would be nice for a. You could put a king size bed in here um, yeah. because you're already missing. Yeah Missing the space to walk around. So the that's bed. what, if you know, when if the slide, this slide is in. 
You can still access the bedroom through the bathroom. Right. You would be able to snake through the... this slide is not that deep. It only comes into like right here. Right. Um, so it's only going to be in about two, 24 inches. So it'd be right here. You still have access to everything inside the rig. It's really nice. But for a, for a small, lightweight toy hauler, this is great. It's absolutely great. Yeah. So real quick, just a note on these... Um, Dometic thermostats. We have these, and these are capacitive touch. It means fancy, you know, when you it senses your finger on there, that's what controls it. And it operates by these little pieces of foam. Let me get over here in the light. That are inside the buttons right there, uh, and that has something to do with the way that these little metal tabs in the thermostat sense your fingers so if you have these kind of thermostats or you buy a rig with this kind of thermostat in it sooner or later it's going to start malfunctioning the air conditioner is going to come on and then go off come on go off uh do you, uh, like just and you're trying you'll be trying to figure out what's wrong with your air conditioner just pull this cover off <laughs> you can still operate the ac by just touching these little metal tabs something is uh, goes wrong inside there and it has to do with those little foam buttons um, so count on having to replace those with either new ones just like it or replacing it with a different model because ours have messed up twice and it is a common thing so so I do like that this has a has a large farm style sink in it also um, this unit is also pre-wired for Wi-Fi and 4G. All right. So that is the XLT3016 toy hauler uh, suggested retail 56470. Not too bad for a toy hauler, a travel trailer. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Take care of each other. Love each other. Make every moment count. That's right. We'll see you next time.